Hi, my name is Elisa Dantelo. I am associate editor of the IEEE Translation on Computers. Well, my research area is computer architecture with a current emphasis on our, uh, numerical processor design and computer arithmetic. I remember myself when I was a secondary school student during the summers uh, to understand, uh, trying to understand how computers uh, perform numerical operations and with no internet at that time, I remember. So this in fact inspired me all the time to take the path to finally become a researcher in this topic. One of the most important is to be associated with the translation computers. For me, it is a very important acknowledgement by the research community. I mean, an acknowledgement of your research career and your honesty to take fair decisions that are very important for many people, authors and readers. Uh, apart from this, I am particularly proud of, uh, of a reciprocal square root algorithm invented in collaboration with Thomas Lang and Javier Bruguera. I know that this uh, algorithm was uh, optimized uh, for a next generation special purpose hypercomputing. So it is very nice to, to perform things that uh, are finally applied to, to the real world. I am also very proud of advising the PhD thesis of Alvaro Vázquez, who obtained a breakthrough result in the design of decimal floating point multipliers. Actually, uh, we had a, a project with IBM to transfer the results. So I like to, to think that I've done a, a good advising work with him. And then you receive an email from the editor-in-chief that says you are nominated to be associate editor. It is impossible for me, it was impossible for me to answer no. This is my reference journal, it, it is a evil for our research community. So taking such a position, uh, a responsibility, in this journal was like an award for me. So. Well, the best part is the interaction with authors and reviewers. Uh, I mean, this gives you a lot of international visibility. I feel a particular satisfaction when, when after all the reviewing process, I take a decision to uh, setting a paper, you know. This is definitely a, a very rare event, and this is the most important part of the work, finding research that is worth to appear in the transactions. You feel that uh, you are doing something important, you know. Um, of course, uh, I encourage anyone to take up this, this role, this position, but only if they have a clear idea of the responsibility inherent uh, to this position. You have to do a good work. Well, I am optimistic. We are in a field with a long tradition, but technology always gives us uh, opportunities to innovate. Uh, if there are computing applications dominate in the future, as in principle it is expected, in fact, the arithmetic density in the chip will be the, the central point, uh, provided you have, the, of course, the necessary memory bandwidth. Uh, I am sure that innovations in arithmetic unit design, and more specifically in floating point unit design, will be demanded, definitely. Try to solve very important problems, take risks, um, overall read, 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 read all you can. And of course, try to publish uh, your results in archival journals of your field. This is my advice. <laughs> well, uh, I have to say that uh, 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 sometimes I wonder what could have happened if, uh, if I could, could have uh, devoted all my research time to the economy field. Uh, I am really interested in economy issues now. Economy has a lot of impact in, in people, so... But probably it is too late for me to, to, to do something at the professional level. Um, and nothing else. Uh, thank you very much for uh, this interview. And uh, as I said uh, at the beginning, I am very proud and happy for this interview for BBC. Thank you.